to the channel. In this video, I am with my buddy Eric, and we're going to be checking out six different dovetail saws, two gent saws, one tenon saw, and then at the end, we will pick a winner. Stick with me. <laughs> Your face. So we both have a set of papers that has the brand names of each one of these saws on it. So we are going to go through categories and then we are going to pick whichever one we feel is the best for that category. Actually, let's start with the two that we thought were worse because this is something that we agreed on. <laughs> yep. The PAX cuts way too slow. How's your progress? I'm not even sure if I'm cutting anything. <laughs> this one, short plate, high TPI, ugly handle. We just didn't like and it. And if you get too close to the handle, it's so low at the bottom because of the design, it'll shoot your saw up. <laughs> it would launch like yeah. this. It was it was funny, but. <laughs> For our first category, we are going with fit and finish, or which one we think is pretty. Uh, okay, you ready? Right. Mm. Well, I showed too soon. All right. You didn't say that one. I thought you were going with Thomas Flynn. I was thinking about it. I, that's the one I was debating on, too. And that's where this one was difficult, because this is yeah. the Centennial Edition one. So, I mean, it's... It's a gorgeous saw. I don't know what the handle material is, but we both said blue spruce dovetail. Ease of start. Are you ready? One, two, three. What'd you go with? Yeah, see, Lee Nielsen would have been my second choice on that. I went with Blue Spruce. And Blue Spruce is my second choice. They're both really close. Yeah. Um, and then right behind them in that would be the Veritas at 20 TPI. And then the Rob Cosman with that progressive end. Talk about that progressive end for a second. Yeah, so when you have that progressive TPI, you can get an easier start. The, the issue I had with it is if you nibble at it a lot and, and get down, but... I think Jamie and I both are more of the mindset of you just kind of full send your saw. So it's a little easy to start, but then when you're actually sawing with it, you can feel when you start hitting that higher TPI. So you have to almost shorten the plate as you cut. So you're shortening your technique and effectively shortening how much of the saw you're using. When you have properly set up saw, you know, the, the Lee Nielsen and the Blue Spruce are both uh, like around 15 or 16. And they're both real easy to start just because of the way they're set up with their rate. Yeah, and I was finding with the Cosman that the, the going back and forth with the little teeth just wasn't necessary. Um, maybe if you're a beginner and you're not used to saws, then the little back and forth might help you like line up the top of the dovetail. But once you get comfortable with saws, it's kind of wasted. And that plate's only 10 inches. And the progressive is what? There's the first two. Yeah, so technically you're dropping the plate down to 8 inches, which is when you get into the range of this, which we didn't like. So, that was just a little bit on that. Alright, cut speed in relation to the TPI. Now this is where it gets confusing for some people because the higher TPI, typically the slower it cuts, the lower the TPI, the faster it cuts. The big thing that that'll change too is the lower the TPI, usually it's a messier cut. The higher the TPI, the cleaner the cut is. So that was a little tidbit. So ease of cut in relation to the, or excuse me, cut speed in relation to the TPI. Oh, this is the one I kept going back and forth on. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay. I have two. <laughs> That's again. <laughs> no, we have to pick one. I was going to go two, but I think we have to go. Ready? One, two, three. 
What'd you go with? The Veritas, because it, it's the only one at 20, really. And for being a 20, it's almost as fast as those that are 15 and 16. So if you're looking at it now, I don't have it to compare. If I was to pick one that's equivalent to a number of the others, I'd be picking Jamie's. Um, but when I look at 20 and how fast it is for 20, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, it is. Which is interesting because the Veritas are known for having clean cuts, easy to start, but they're typically supposed to be slower. Like if you read yeah. things online, they're supposed to be slower. But I've been pretty impressed with the speed of that one. Again, being a high TPI because this one here and the Garlic and Sons are both 20 TPI and they are Way slow as molasses. Slow. <laughs> yeah. So, Way slower. yeah. Um, the one thing that I liked with the Blue Spruce and the cut speed, I'm going to sound crazy and you might say that I'm crazy too and that's okay, but I feel like I had control over the cut where some of the other ones, if you try to cut faster, it almost like bound and skipped. With the Blue Spruce, it was like you could just manhandle that saw and it was cutting and it wasn't going to skip or anything like that. So that's why I picked that one for speed. <laughs> So this is ease of cut and the smoothness of the cut. So it kind of goes back to what we were talking about with the skipping and stuff like that. I don't feel like this one's fair. Are you ready? Maybe. <laughs> You're making me second guess. Ease of cut? Ease of cut and how smooth the how cut smooth is. How smooth the cut is. Like when and that's where it's tough too. Before we pick, I do want to say that the TPI makes a difference in that too. Because the higher the TPI, the smoother it's going to be. So we have to think about this in relation to the TPIs of the saws as well. Even though this one was a 20 and it didn't. Okay. I have two answers. I'm sorry. I'm breaking the rules. Oh, good. I can't do You're going to go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And what did you go with? Veritas. Yeah, Veritas. see? And that's why I was questioning it because... The Veritas being a high TPI, it was very, very smooth. But then if I'm going to go to the lower TPIs, then it's going to be the Blue Spruce. Yeah, so. and it's so it? close. I picked Lee Nielsen, but they're so close. They are. And I think, yeah, it's something where there's other things that are different between them. I think once you actually have gotten the cut started and are getting into it, I think they're pretty similar. I think mine with the Lee Nielsen is it's... I don't know if the set is farther out, but it felt like with the blue spruce, it just glided, if that's the word. Yeah, it does. <laughs> glided it's through a the very cut smooth cut. The Lee Nielsen, you felt like you were cutting, which is fine. It's a saw, but it. I think that's what yeah. I noticed. And I think it just has to come down to the set or maybe the TPI on that. Lee Nielsen TPI is 15. Blue spruce is 16. Yeah, that's pretty so that, comparable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're making me question myself now because I'm thinking... <laughs> But you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. It's, That's why I'm questioning it. Maybe I... The Lee Nielsen, when you would go rough with it, you felt it cutting rougher. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Now, I didn't push like you were with yeah. them, so... I'm crazy with saws, that. man. Yeah. Yeah. Let the saw do the work. I know. Sometimes I don't want to, I just want to finish the cut. All right. This is going to be comfort of the handle. So... I do want to add in because when I did the live unboxing video, somebody asked me to talk about the hang, hang angle of the handle in relation to the teeth. Um, I thought about it and I was going to try to give you guys answers and measurements and all this stuff, but that's going to be either subjective or objective to the height of your bench. So if your bench is lower, the angle of your wrist is going to be different. If your bench is higher, the angle of your wrist is going to be different. He's six foot, I'm five six. It's going to be different. So I can't talk about hang angle. I will say that all of these seemed pretty similar. For using them all the, on the uh, same bench, the angle seemed pretty similar across. Yeah, Did yeah. you, you can certainly that? tell that this is a tenon. Um, it's set up to be a bit of a different type of cut. Um, I think you can even just looking at them, right, you can see these are all at roughly the same angle. Um, it looks like the bad axe may be a little more open. Yeah. Um, Sure We're not talking about, about the garlic. That one's yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? Okay. This was this comfort. was comfort. Yes. Oh, I have a caveat. Let's... I almost want to pick two. Do I want to pick two? I'll let. Can I pick?
pick two. I'm torn between the two. Yeah, I'm picking two because I'm torn. Yeah. Okay. One? Are you picking two or one? No, one. Okay. One, two, three. I already showed my first one. Oh, well. What did you pick? Veritas. That's where I was torn. Yeah. Because the Veritas is super comfortable. It is. And it's, I think it's with how they designed it. You know, look, mm -hmm. it's, it's ugly. I mean, people say that. See, I like how this one well, looks, I, though. Yeah, I don't like the, <laughs> the plastic, but I think when you hold it and you feel how it is, um, just the way it's shaped, especially for me, and this is the saw I have at home. This is what I use. So it's very comfortable um, for me. It's very, you know, it's really soft feeling, I guess, in the hand is how I would describe it. That doesn't mean any of these are uncomfortable. Um, this well, one's uh, uncomfortable. Yeah. One of them was uncomfortable. The, the garlic, this one's uncomfortable. Yeah. And the gent saws are, it's just different. Um, but I think when you look at these, it's not like we're looking at them and saying, these are not comfortable. No. Um, I think, for me, the Veritas is really comfortable. Um, mm. The Blue Spruce was really comfortable, I thought. And I like the, you know, they, they've eased the edges really well on that. I think the Lee Nielsen is kind of up there in consideration. I think if I was to say something's a little less comfortable, it would be the Cosman. And I think that's an issue of material choice. Wood's just going to feel better. Yeah. Not an epoxy garage floor. Yeah. Can I say that? No. Yeah. <laughs> the Rob Cos... I don't know if you guys know this, but anytime you mention Rob Cosman that can be seen, or his products that can be seen in any form of, like, negative light, there's people that will just, like, blow you up in the comments. You're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. So I just wait. You'll see them in the comments. <laughs> I do want to say that when it comes to the Lee Nielsen, the Lee Nielsen handle is comfortable. The issue I run into with it is that it's a wider handle and I feel like I have to death grip it to keep it in my hand because I have smaller hands. When it comes to the blue spruce one, it doesn't make me feel like I need to death grip it. It just floats in my hand versus the Lee Nielsen where I feel like I need to hold on to it, if that makes sense. Um, the Veritas is also one of those ones that I feel like it just fits in your hand comfortably and that's why I was torn between the two. And it could be a hand size thing. Like to me, I don't feel like this is overly wide, um, but I do agree that this one feels really nice. So, um, oh, yeah. I don't know which one this one goes to, but for the fit and the finish, um, the bad axe handle. I just want to comment on real quick because it looks pretty, but we've been using it in tests, and it feels like the finish is already off of it. Um, where the Veritas, Lee Nielsen, and Blue Spruce, yeah. and the Thomas Flynn. Yeah. The finish is staying on it, but using this one, it feels like it's already rubbed off, and I need to re-wax it or refinish it. So that's something to keep in mind, too. The, uh, when we're on that subject, we could also look at... I'm not a person who cares about this, but I know oh, I a do. lot of guys like the clocking of your split knots, or these aren't split knots, so the clocking on this one and the Rock Cosman would be something that you'd have to consider. Yeah, um, yeah cause the- that's on the Veritas, but the, the Blue Spruce and the Lee Nielsen are both clocked. Yeah, really so is nicely. the Thomas Flynn. Uh, I do have to say that it's very, very, very surprising to me that the Bad Axe doesn't have split nuts. Um, just for being sure. like a saw company, you know, like you have, the Lee Nielsen is, I said I wasn't gonna talk about price, but the Lee Nielsen's like half the price of this saw and it has split nuts that are clocked. These are flat heads that aren't clocked, so it just fit and finish was surprising for this one. I think now we're at overall. So overall, I think you guys figured out my answer already because it won most of the categories. So overall, which one was your favorite? And basically, if money wasn't an option, which one would you buy? Yeah, I think one. mine might surprise people. Really? One, two, three. What did you go with? The blue spurs. Yeah, yeah, me too. You suck at high fives. All right. Why did you pick? <laughs> I blocked it. Why did you pick Blue Spruce? Uh, so I think I didn't necessarily pick it as a winner in a lot of categories where maybe Jamie did, but it was always second then in those categories. And to me, I'm really looking at three of the saws on the table. I'm looking at the Veritas, the Lee Nielsen, and the Blue Spruce. I think if I look at the overall fit and finish, the way it cuts, the way it starts a cut, um, just the way it feels using it, I think that one is, you know, a little bit higher than the other two. Um, I think I'd be completely happy in my shop to have any of the three. Um, but if, I, if I'm if i picking one, that that's the one I'm picking. Yeah. That's pretty much the same thing for me as it was 
overall, over all the categories, if you had to pick one, that checked all the boxes for me. Yeah. I do want to comment on the Rob Cosman with the price because, yeah. and I know this is going to be horrible and people are going to yell at me in the comments again. Every saw I see that has a plastic handle is the Cobalt from Lowe's, the Craftsman from Lowe's, the Harbor Freight, the, the cheaper saws. So when I was looking this one up, I expected the price to be cheaper. It wasn't. Um, the other thing that I found weird, and I don't know if you noticed this too, but I'm a little OCD, is I don't, if you can hear this, listen. So that's the finish on the brass back. So it's almost like they just took the brass and ran it through a drum sander and didn't like finish it. When you look at these other ones, they're like finished, other than that one. But they're like finished, and this isn't. So an unfinished back with a plastic, I know it's resin, whatever, but plastic handle, for the price that it is, that really took this one down a few notches for me. That's just my opinion. <laughs> I do want to comment on the Bad X, too, because... So, this saw cuts at a curve. So with all of the other ones, they're cutting straight lines. Even if it is like a diagonal line, that line is still flat. This saw cuts to a curve. So no matter what Both you can us. do, yes. Yeah. It's not a technique thing, I'm telling you. It's something with the saw. Um, it could be the set, which we noticed the set is heavier on one side. We were checking the plate and we were seeing light coming through it. So there's something going on with this saw. In your opinion, and I haven't asked you this yet, if that wasn't an issue, if it was cutting straight, would you change any of your answers? Uh, so I think uh, for fit and finish, no. Um, and it, I was looking at that independent of the, the potential issue with the plate. Because I think that, you know, I just, the way the handle's finished, um, how that wore, as we saw, the lack of clocking, um, you know, I, I think it's just a little bit below what I saw on the others. The only thing I think it would change is when you look at um, the speed of the cut. And if you watch the videos, you can see when it starts to catch. Um, you can tell the change, either, either there's a skip, or you can see a change in the speed from as you get down to about oh half inch into the plate, it starts to bind a little bit. You know, it, it would move up some, but I, I think for me, it's probably still not going to crack my top three. It'd probably be four. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I expected more because this saw, this saw in particular, um, the base value for Bad X saws is $295. He upgraded the handle to Yarin, which is $100, and then he upgraded the nickel, I almost said it, nickel, and then the nickel hardware, which is going to be an additional... I think $60 or something like that. So this saw is well over $400 um, and it has an issue. Now I am in contact with customer service. I reached out to somebody higher up in the company um, just because I said, hey, I've got this big video going on. We want this company included because they are, I mean, we cover a lot of the modern makers in here. So Bad Axe had to be included. Um, it's been over a week now and I still don't have a return label or anything to get it figured out. Um, the first email I got back was to try to fix it myself, which was using a stone to try to remove some of the set on one side. That didn't work. So it's just kind of falling where it is. And yeah. I'm still kind of with you as I don't know that it would have changed the position if it did perform right. I think it would have fallen right where the Cosmin is, maybe bumped the Cosmin down a little bit. Yeah. To me, there's like clear kind of chunks. Yeah. I think for both of us, that, you know, there's a couple that are really nice. There's a couple that are middling and a couple that aren't nice at all. Yeah. Yeah. I do feel bad about this guy because you know it is beautiful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Something we should say about it and why I didn't rank it um, I as highly, either. I think, is this is a hybrid. It did really well as a crosscut. It's going to do decently well as a rip. And if you're trying to get away with one saw to, to do all your all your sawing and you need you know to do some rip cutting and some cross cutting... One of these is going to do both pretty well. Maybe for a minimalist, because I know there are some people out oh, there yeah. that like to have like a really small tool chest. Obviously, I'm not that, but he's not either. But you saw his shop. He was This was the guy we did the shop tour of. I think my first yeah. shop tour. Yep. So, um, but yes, I want to keep this around because I want to build a bench hook for it, and I'm going to love it for cross cuts because I love the length of the plate, which is something that I want to comment on too. Yep. Um, this one is obviously too small. Can't get the hang of it. I like the longer plate size. I like that the blue spruce is, what, 11? 
and then you get to the Lee Nielsen, which is 10, and then the Veritas is 9 and a quarter. Yeah. I'm learning that once I had been using that 11-inch plate for quite a while, it was weird to go to a smaller saw. Yeah. Because the more back-and-forth motions you have to make, you have a higher chance for error, and it just uses more effort versus a longer plate where you just don't have to make as many passes. Um, and that's something I never really paid attention to before doing all of this. So Yeah. Yeah, plate length is going to impact that. It's, it's going to impact your speed because of how much you're doing in each cut. And if you get too short, you can get a little jerky with your motion. So a nice, smooth, longer plate is going to be nice. You know, most of these are adequate. You know, I think you want at least nine inches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except for this one. I just don't understand. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any comments, anything like that, feel free to let us know down below. Huge shout out to Lou because without him, this wouldn't have been possible, and this was a blast, and it was awesome geeking out with you, so thank you for yeah. coming to do the video with me as well. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Lou. Thanks, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Happy Christmas. New Year! Adios.